Hi guys. Um, I'm going to show you today just stitching together the teeth pieces. Um, I've done some other videos which I may or may not post because of child and technical issues. So first of all, I should start showing you this. I'm taking the bottom two teeth sections face to face and I'm going to pin through the corners first. Slightly off on that one so I'm going to take it off and I readjust it so it goes into the corner. Now I'm going to line up the other corner with another pin. Hopefully that will go through first time, it's a mile off. Um, yeah, I think that one was at a slight angle, so try again. There we go, that one that time is much better. Um, so now I've pinned those together, I'm going to clip them with Wonder Clips. I haven't pinned them together, I've located them with pins, that's probably the better difference. And now I'm going to take the pins out. I had them pushed all the way to the base. Now I'm going to sew along this line. So I'm starting and stopping with a lock stitch. And now I open that out and that's that's how we want it to be. Um, what I'll do now is on the seam, I'll just remove the paper on the seam allowance, just on that section. And I will fold out the fabric and press it with my fingers. This is probably the bulkiest seam up around where it joins with the other teeth in a minute. So I finger press to start with, press on the back, and press on the front. So now that's pretty flat. I spoke to you about this before, which is where I made a slight error, but I have um, put a uh, fray check on it so it's very stable and um, so now this and um, these two are going to get sewn together so face to face again and locate the corners first these stars are here for when you're locating the two front teeth together which I might be able to show you in a minute as well so that's one locator pin all the way through the other one we go to the other end it doesn't have to be right at the other end we could do this junction here no we can't because we need it to be right in the corner because that junction isn't the same on the other side told you I'm tired tonight there we go so now I'm going to uh, clip it several places take out the pins And sew it through. I still have the stick length on 1.5 here, um, so quite short. And I've done that um, as there's going to be quite a lot of um, pull on these seams because it's where it's the most bulky, um, so it's best to, to have it as strong as possible. Now, as you can see, it really doesn't want to open here because there's quite a lot of bulk around this area. So, um, first of all, I'm going to take off the seam allowance paper. As you can see, it tears off really nicely, this stuff. This is the foundation paper from Pattern Trace. Oh, I've got a bit too much here, but that's fine. We can work with that. And then here we have quite a lot of overlap of fabrics. So I've got my scissors and I will trim them. But first, so I can see what I'm doing a little bit more, I'm just going to do a little bit of pressing. 
I seem to have caught something up in this intersection here, so I'm going to have to have a look at that in a second. Basically, you have to press, press, and press some more. And when you think you've pressed enough, press just a little bit more. <laughs> that almost rhymes. Or does it? I don't know. I've lost the will to live. There we go, so press that. Press it all quite well. I will um, press it some more, but I've got some overlaps like here, so I can take, trim this out. And this one, I should be using much smaller scissors than this. That, I'll probably trim that down. This area here is really not sitting nicely. Um, I think I've got too much in this area, so I'm going to trim it down. It's got quite a lot of um, other fabric holding the whole thing together. So I'm not worried about, it's not the top layer that I'm doing. If you see, this is the top layer. So it's underneath that. So um, what I will then do is I've got this, I will cover it over. And while I'm sewing the next piece... I will just leave that with the oil on there and if you come and look under the my machine what I've done is when it was cooling the previous one I just stuck it under there and uh, there we go that's the teeth quite nice and flat now so that's ready for the other pieces to be sewn on around it that's how I've done the teeth thank you